Assalamualaikum. Okay, today I'm going to show you uh, the example of application of cost model versus fair value model for the subsequent measurement of investment property. Okay, uh, let's read the situation given together. Okay, on 1st January 2016, Ace acquired a property for investment purpose. The cost of the building was RM. 10 million and the economic life was estimated to be 50 years. At the end of year 2016, the fair value of the building was RM 11.5 million. The fair value on 31 December 2017 was RM 10.8 million. Okay, assumes that the company adopts the fair value model to account for this property. Second, the company uh, assumes that the company adopts the cost model all right uh, so required show relevant journal entries to record the above transactions for years 2016 and 2017 the financial year end is on 31st december okay so before we look at the uh, journal entries all right uh, first we Look at the situation given, alright. Uh, we know that on 1st January 2016, okay, the company acquired uh, a property for investment purpose. So, we assume that this is an investment property, okay. Uh, alright, so the cost of the building was RM 8 million, 10 million, sorry, 10 million. Eh? So, this is the initial cost of the property, okay. And the property is to be... Uh, depreciated uh, or sorry the economic life of the property is 50 years okay uh, at the end of year 2016 the fair value of the property was 11.5 million so this shows an increase okay an increase in the fair value of property okay by uh, 1.5 million right uh, so there is an increase in the fair value of the property by 11 point sorry by 1.5 million that is the difference between 11.5 million minus the initial cost 10 million and then the fair value on 34 December 2017 was RM 10.8 million so this shows a decrease okay, in the fair value of the property okay uh, the decrease by 700,000 uh, that is 11.5 million minus 10.8 million all right so there was a decrease in the fair value of the building on 34 December 2017 all right so uh, let's have a look at the journal entries for both models okay first let's have a look at the uh, uh, fair value model okay so uh, for the general entry first we record uh, the initial cost of the property on 1st January 2016 right debit investment property 10 million and credit cash or liability 10 million right and on 34 December 2016 as we have seen just now there was a decrease okay, in the fair value okay by one point 5 million okay uh, the, uh, there was a, an increase okay an increase in the fair value by 1.5 million eh? that is from 10 million to 11.5 million eh? there was an increase in the fair value so we have to debit the investment property 1.5 million okay eh? this is to increase okay the the value of investment property okay so that uh, it will reflect the fair value on 34 December 2016, right? So we have to debit investment property 1.5 million and credit the fair value gain 1.5 million, right? Uh, so the fair value gain has to be uh, credited uh, in the SOPOL, okay, by 1.5 million, okay? Uh, so this is the calculation for the uh, increase in the fair value or uh, the fair value gain, right? Uh, 1.5 million, 11.5 million minus 10 million. All right, on 34 December 2017, all right, uh, as we have seen just now, 
there was a decrease okay, in the fair value by 700,000. Yeah? Uh, so the, the, the difference uh, uh, of 700,000 is uh, 11.5 million. Okay, we take 11.5 million minus 10.8 million. Okay, so there was a decrease by uh, 700,000. Okay, so uh, in the general entries, okay, we have to debit okay, the SOPOL fair value loss 700,000. Okay, so we have to charge uh, the, the decrease in the fair value of the property uh, in the SOPOL as a fair value loss uh, of 700,000. And uh, we have to also credit the investment property by 700,000, okay? So, this is to reduce the value of the property, yeah? So, that it reflects the fair value on 34 December 2017, alright? Okay, this is the application of fair value model for subsequent measurement. So, how about the cost model? Okay, for the cost model... Okay, uh, on 1st January 2016, as usual, we have to record the initial cost okay, of the property. So, we have to debit uh, investment property, 10 million, and credit cash or liability or payable, 10 million, right? And on 34 December 2016, okay, uh, since we are using the cost model, okay, the property has to be depreciated annually. Alright, so the depreciation amount is 200,000, 10 million divided by 50 years. Okay, so we have to debit SOPOL depreciation 200,000 and credit accumulated depreciation 200,000. So this treatment is the same as uh, PPE. Alright, uh, it, it is the same as uh, PPE's treatment. Okay, and then uh, in the following year, Okay, 31 December 2017, we also need to uh, record the depreciation, the annual depreciation of the property in the SOPOL. Uh, so, we debit SOPOL uh, depreciation to 200,000 and credit accumulated depreciation 200,000. Okay, that is how we uh, generalize uh, the depreciation, okay, the depreciation of the uh, investment property when uh, the cost model is applied, alright? So, that's all for uh, the example of application of fair value model versus cost model. Thank you very much.